internal structure. Let us now take a look at the internal structure of the heart. The heart has four completely divided chambers. There are two receiving chambers or auricles and two pumping chambers or ventricles. A muscular septum divides the heart internally into a left and a right half. In right half, deoxygenated blood flows, while simultaneously in the left half, oxygenated blood flows. Internally, all the four chambers are lined by a smooth membranous lining, the endocardium. Two major veins carrying deoxygenated blood from the body enter the right auricle or atrium. The right atrium communicates with the right ventricle through the opening in the atrioventricular septum. This opening is guarded by a valve called the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle opens into the pulmonary arc which carries the blood into the lungs for oxygenation. Semilunar valve present at the base of this vessel guards the opening of this vessel to prevent the backflow of blood into the heart. A similar arrangement of structure is seen on the left side of the heart also. Pulmonary veins carrying oxygenated blood from the lungs enter the left atrium. Left atrium communicates with the left ventricle through the bicuspid or mitral valve. The left ventricle functions to pump the blood into the aorta to send it to all the parts of the body. A semilunar valve present at the base of aorta prevents the backflow of blood at this point. Thus, now if we take an overall view of the internal structure of heart, we find that the vessels entering the heart are superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary veins. The vessels leaving the heart are aorta and pulmonary arc. The valves of significance are tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve and the two semilunar valves.